I want to introduce you to our latest feature, which is fully automatic tagging. Once you upload to the cloud, you'll see here this option for automated tagging. And if you turn this on, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the software. So if I go to this game and go to pattern events, we have a series of patterns that we collect automatically from the video. So I'm going to quickly take you through these. Ball in the final third shows every time we entered the, the ball into the opponent's final third. We have 106 instances of this happening within the game. I can zoom in to be a bit more specific, but I can also use the filtering here. So in this case, I'm going to say I'm only interested in one team's attacking moments. I can say if I want first half or second half, how the filtering here. So in this case, I'm going to say I'm only interested in one team's attacking moments. I can say if I want first half or second half, how the ball was entered into the final third, and also the number of players that were involved in that action. So in this case, you're going to have at least three players involved in the attack. So as you go through, you'll see the ball gets entered into the final third, and we've got at least three players in, involved in the attack. Remember, if you want to save any of these clips, you can just select the clip and you can save here or press the S key to drop it into your playlist ready to analyze. Ball in the box denotes every time we manage to get the ball into the opposition's box. So very similarly, I've got 69 events here and I can filter by who was involved, the team, how it was entered, the number of players that were involved, and I can very specifically get to the, the clips that I'm interested in. Goals is a very simple example, so we can automatically detect the goals. So I can go to any of these moments and here we've, we've got one of the goals detected late in the game. And again, I can move this clip to my playlist and, and start analyzing, start drawing on it. Attacking players in the box is about the number of players that we get into the opposition's box. So again, one team as, as an example, I'm gonna choose the second half <clears throat> and a moment where maybe we had four players in the opposition's box. So I'm gonna choose this clip and we're building up and we're gonna to get to a moment where we had four players in the opposition's box. In this instance, we've got four players here. This might lead you to moments in the games that maybe didn't end in a, a shot or a final action, but were threatening positions. So it's another one's nice one to be detected automatically. We also detect some set pieces automatically. So if I go to the filters, I can get the kickoffs, I can get the goal kicks if I'm interested in how that team build up from the back or what strategy they employ from goal kicks. And I can also get all the corner kicks in the game. So you can see in this example, here we have a corner kick that I can look at. Here we have another corner kick. And again, these are, are fully automated and found automatically in the video. The final one is sprints. And again, we can filter here and look at one team, second half, and sprints that were over a certain speed. And again, I can click any event, watch the video, and if it's something I want to save, I can save it into my playlist. You can see in this example that we've automated the visualization, but once it's in your playlist, you can edit it, you can delete it, you can add your own visualizations as well. So from your playlist, you can use any of the, the tracking features that are possible. So if I want to connect some players together, for example, with a link, I can do that. So let's choose these players as an example. And as always, you can just drag the bar to follow the movements of these players. And then I can take it back and watch, watch the clip. And if I want to add another drawing, maybe I want to add the pitch control or, or team size, you can do you know, as, as you normally would. Hopefully this is helpful. For any further help or any questions, please send an email to support at metrica-sports.com.